Hi everyone, this is Ellie. The Destiny's Call event is now out. Make sure to check the event duration in your time zone. There is no event story this time. Um, there's quite a bit to explain, so uh, let's just get started. And then per usual, I'll have the link to the official patch announcements in the description. So first, if we click into the event page, this is basically like those like life simulation games. You'll first, the first screen you'll see, you'll be asked to choose a male lead to raise. You do have to finish raising one male lead to age 18 before moving on to another one. And <clears throat> you can do so by assigning them to do certain activities in schedule here. So the first button to the left here. And basically, um, this will reward certain stats uh, as you grow your male lead. And then the play button will be unlocked um, like as the male lead grows a bit more and you can check the stats for your male lead in log here on the table and basically based on these stats you will unlock up to 11 different endings for each male lead and of note this is permanent content so you can take your time although if you're interested in unlocking all the endings try to do so during this event because the activities or the scheduling part does take shorter like time duration to complete but if you're not interested in that you can just choose to unlock one ending anyone is fine for um, the reward which is one old dutch paint and the guides on how to achieve each ending have been graciously put together by lemon from our fan made discord server and i've obtained permission to share this so that'll be in a community post on this channel next if we go back to this page uh the build button so second to the left here this is basically your home decoration. You can, you know, drag and rearrange furniture and everything. Um, I do recommend like clicking on the furniture because sometimes they come with Easter eggs and nice surprises. I don't have all of them just um, unlocked yet, but you know, the TV sometimes will have uh, like interesting cartoons on it. The third button, so storage, pretty self-explanatory. Oh, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's just your inventory. And then the go out is where you access this event's farming stage and the shop. So first, if we start with stage, like in the middle here, this resets daily. Um, every day you will be asked a question and of note quitting in the middle will not return your ticket. So try your best to answer the question correctly. Again, Lemon from our family Discord server has also put together a guide for this, which is also in the community post I mentioned previously. Next, if we look at Battle Cube, this is the stamina farming stage for this event. And per usual, certain um, illustrators do have bonus drops. So for example, if we just go in here, event bonus. Um, so if you're going to pull on this event's banner, do so before farming. And also it's most stamina efficient to farm difficulty three over here. Also make sure to redeem Ein's SS, or sorry, Ein's SR from the shop here. Um, as this also gives bonus drops and it's free. And there are three different shops this time. The one on the left and the middle, so redeem shop and gift shop are limited time, but the pit coin shop, which is the one on the right is permanent. However, there is a limited number of each shop item here that will be refreshed daily. Um, I do suggest you grab the sticky rice dango from this shop pretty often or daily even, as this will reset the stats on your mail lead so you can unlock the um, other like additional endings. And you can get currency for the shop on the left, so the redeem shop, by completing these daily missions they have listed here. And then the currency for the gift shop, um, the happy time coins here, uh, this is through the stamina farming stage. Um, and actually the redeem shop is more like where you can earn the happy time shop uh, currency basically. And the currency for the one on the right is through arranging the activities for the male leads I described earlier and also those like stage um, quiz questions. You can also like click on William over here and there'll be like little mini, you know, surprises and stuff you can get. Also, any of the other parts of the map that I haven't mentioned are used for the male lead stats. So for example, if we just go here, see this is where you can get more stats for, you know, to raise your male lead and you can just participate in these as you'd like. And one thing to note about the furniture is if we go to the general shop, there are furniture packs available that you can buy. Um, the patch notes say they're one time only. It's kind of unclear what they mean by that. So I'll be asking customer support and then see if I can get clarification on that. But if that will, um, if I do get a reply, I'll put that in the comment section. And just to emphasize, as I previously mentioned, this house mode or game mode will be permanent. And then after next update, you will be able to access it as the second floor of our home. So like our main page, there will be an arrow pointing up um, right here. At that time, you can train multiple mail leads at the same time, but the activities in the scheduling will take longer to complete. Okay, so hopefully that uh, clarifies a few things for the event itself. Now, if we move on to the gotcha, 
per usual, we have the rate of choice function over here. I already used it. Um, if you wish for an SR, that one will be guaranteed in the first 10 poll. If you wish for an SSR, it guarantees that the first event SSR you get is the one you choose, and there is a 30% chance you will not get an event SSR the first time around. So hard pity is at 160 polls. The specific rates are listed in the details, you know, per usual. Um, and there is the redraw function here. Um, you do need over 10 event SSRs to use this function. The more, um, you can read a bit more about it in my previous video, it should be the awakening one. I explained a bit more about that. So next, all the comments made are from a meta and combat standpoint. And then per usual, again, text versions for these illustrator guides are already available in our community discord server, link in the description. So first, if we start off, um, in alphabetical order with alcades so this is an average aoe sub damage dealer that provides some utility average base stats and old damage multiplier performs better on manual skill priority wise or at least one before two but you want to max both enlightenment priority is low to mid so you can consider feeding enlightenment but it's not recommended if you're short on resources um, and you can stack additional copies you can consider pairing um this illustra with other illustras with aoe incapacitate so that you can use your skill one on an enemy on which the like aoe inca incapacitate did not proc um, and there is no positional preference if we look at alphabetical order if we look at kales this is a strong aoe main damage dealer with a little bit of team utility it has average base attack but does have high old damage multiplier it performs well on auto but even better on manual and actually it's one of the top choices for speed clearing regular content um and the reason why it's better on manual is because it's skill two, which is the team-wide attack buff only lasts one turn. And it's good for speed clearing because it charges fast from its skill one. Um, and also in terms of skill priority, honestly, you should max both of them, um, but for speed clearing one before two, enlightenment priority is pretty high. It's recommended to feed enlightenment, um, mostly if you are a kale stan. And it's also recommended to stack additional copies. In terms of team comp, it, it, if you pair with skill one um, and then Alcade's SSR Shattered Stars and also the maxed top up picture set, this, ult, this Illustra can ult during round one, which makes this Illustra again one of the best for speed clearing regular content. But even if you don't have the latter two, it still does really well. Um, it also pairs well with Kale's Sprout SSR because Sprout does additional ult damage if enemies are debuffed. And this Illustra's ult provides a uh, AoE debuff. So in this case, put this Illustra before Sprout on the team. But in general, there's no position preference. Next if, we, oh, no, next, if we look at K, uh, Clarence's SSR, this is a mediocre healer with no additional team utility. It has re relatively low base HP um, and decent base defense, but really it has high base attack. It's also reliant on the ult level for decent single turn healing as it is one of those healing per turn illustras. And skill priority, you want to max two. Enlightenment priority is low. Um, again, it's not a damage dealing illustra, but also not very low because its healing ability depends on the old level. So you can consider feeding enlightenment, but it's not um, recommended first at least, and you can stack additional copies. Because this illustra has a high base attack, you can consider putting it in a crit based team. So basically with teammates that have crit rate or crit damage buffing, but also for this reason, like on auto, the AI sometimes gives the attack buffs from other illustras to this one instead of your damage dealer card so do be wary about that in general no positional preference i do want to note that generally you only need like one to two healing ssrs in your kit so or in your box so pull as needed there is no um event victor at this time and one more important thing before i end the video there is a dream tailor event going on for this week only so during the first week of the destiny's call event um just in case you know i'm not entirely sure when you're watching the video but you can now choose accessories for the male leads in the, if we go over here so in the date outfit system where you go to match and then it has outfits here and then your accessories here and during the event you will get a free draw at daily reset and you pull for them here down here dream tailor um, you get a free draw a daily reset the duplicate um duplicates will be automatically converted to buttons so try to buy as many of the free ones as possible first and the rates are i think listed here yeah the rates are listed here but basically you are guaranteed at least one ssr accessory um which is one of these like gold one gold background ones here every 20 draws and then you will get an additional ssr accessory of your choice every 100 draws and if we go to the shop again there are if we go to dream tailor there are packs available to buy the basically those zone tickets the draws um important note if you have not obtained all the ssr accessories even after purchasing all these packs you will receive a corresponding number of ssr accessory lucky bags via the mail 
that was a lot of info covered. Hopefully it helped to clear some things up. Um, and also please remember to head over to the community tab for Lemon's Guides. And then I will put some key points in the pinned comment. Hopefully that will help summarize some things as well.